Where should I start my research? Where do I find a good research topic? How to choose a research topic? Or a research topic is a subject or issue that a researcher is interested in when conducting research. It is something that you are interested in exploring or investigating. Ano ba yung mga hinahanap mo na hindi pa nadidiskubre ng iba? Or ano yung mga problema na napansin mo sa paligid mo? Ito yung mga bagay na nais mong malaman na wala pang specific na kasagutan. We narrowed it down to four easy steps. Na kung susundin mo ng tama, you surely have a good research topic. One, write it down. Write all your ideas. You may start writing on a broad topic or problems. Writing may help you to organize your ideas and may create possible connections between them. Hindi naman kinakailang specific at maayos ang pagkakasulat. Wala itong sinusunod na format. Kung saan ka komportable, maaari mo yung gawin. But if you are starting a research project, we suggest to have a notebook para kahit papano ay maging mas organized at madaling hanapin ang mga information na kailangan mo. So, the first step sa pagpili ng research topic ay isulat mo lahat ng nasa isip mong problema or broad topic. It may also be in the form of doodle, cutouts, print and screenshot, etc. Ano nga ba yung mga pwedeng include? Let's say A. Topic problem na binigay ng research teacher mo or your professor. B. Mga relevant to these issues and concerns. C. Nabasa mong trending sa Twitter, shared posts sa Facebook, suggested videos sa YouTube, Top hashtags in Instagram or best topics sa TikTok. D. Problem situation na narinig mo from your friends, relative, or neighbor. And E. Your own experiences. Highlight what interests you the most. Obviously, you shall find an answer to the things that interest you. Uh, you may start crossing out the topics or dilemmas that you are at least motivated to do. You may start asking yourself, Yung mahanap ko bang kasagutan dito ay makakatulong sa akin? It is important that there is something that drives you to keep looking for an answer because research is a long process. Or let's say, alin sa mga topic na ito ang malapit sa inyong strand, course, or field? Or alin sa mga topic na ito ang malapit sa inyong puso? Hmm. Again, for step 2, choose 5 topics that you are interested in. The research process is more relevant if you care about your topic. You pick the topics that fascinates you, something that you want to talk about. Do not spend much time on writing about the topics that bores you. Narrowed and check background. Narrow your topic to something manageable. If your topic is too broad, you will find too much information and not be able to focus, but not too narrowed. Enumerate questions that you want to answer on that topic and try to be more specific on your research objectives. Background reading can help you choose and limit the scope of your topic. Mas makakapamili ka ng magandang research topic kung may background ka tungkol dito. Also, when you do initial reading about the remaining topic, it may give you ideas kung paano mo atakihin or what specific problem you sought to answer. 
remember to read some journal articles. For step 3, from the highlighted 5 broad topics, choose your top 3 narrow topics. Para sa pang-apat na step, answer WH questions. Think of the who, what, when, where, and why questions. Why did you choose the topic? What interests you about it? Do you have an opinion about the issues involved? Who are the information providers on this topic? Who is affected by this topic? Who are the institutions or organizations affiliated with the topic? What are the major questions to this topic? Is there a debate about the topic? Are there any range of issues and viewpoints to consider? Where is your topic important? Barangay, city, local, national, or international? Where are the specific places affected by these topics? When is your topic important? Current event or historical issues? Are you considering comparing your topic by time periods? Analyze your answer on that WH questions. And to help you to identify the best topic for your research project, you may talk to your colleagues or friends. Then, schedule a consultation with your research advisor or professor. Remember, to seek professional help from the experts. Phenomological study of the modular approach experiences of senior high school students with limited technology resources. To finalize your topic, remember to be smart. S. Specific. A specific goal is focused, detailed, and clearly stated. Anyone reviewing the goal should understand exactly what the goal means. M. Measurable. A measurable goal is quantitative in nature, meaning you or a coach can measure the results. In qualitative, you may still measure it through determining patterns. A. Attainable. An attainable goal is one that can be accomplished based on the resources and skill of the person trying to complete it. R. Relevant. Relevant means result-oriented. The objective of the research project are relevant to the present situation. Like, why shall this research project be done? What is the impact of this research project? P. Time-bound. A time-bound goal has specific timelines and a deadline. This will help you to motivate to move forward to your goal. Set milestone and help you to evaluate your progress in case realignment is necessary. Now, you may start doing the four easy steps in choosing a right topic for your research project. We hope you learned something new from this video. You may hit the notification bell for more research-related video. Again, this is Ma'am Hazel and Miss Cash. From, from research, research team, team zooming, zooming out. out. Annyeong! Annyeong.